I love how these sort of sensual songs come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, free gang, we are coming to you live, but not live, from London. We are back. We're back in London. Are you happy to be back, Mummy? I'm happy I to be so. back. I'm happy to be back. He's happy to be back, and he's gone. Do you so, think I, it's, not a, it's a big adjustment being back yeah. in London? From looking out the window and seeing the sea, to looking out the window and seeing... <laughs> not the sea. Concrete. <laughs> Personally, I feel so re-energised, ready to go, ready to tackle so many amazing things that I want to get done. <laughs> What's going on back there? Is that Max? Max flying in the air? Yeah, Max is back. Well, Max never actually left. He was here all the time. Here's Max. Max looks angry most of the time, but he's not. He's just misunderstood. He just struggles to process his emotions. That's all it is. Yeah. yeah. He's part of the family. Yeah, that, that's fine, Max. It's fine. But yeah, we're back into our usual morning routine now back home, just adjusting. We did yoga this morning. Tell you what, yoga's hard at the moment because our first yoga session back was with our friend Felix and my goodness. He destroyed us. You want to do a yoga session and learn the hard way in the deep end, do it with him. It was good, it's beneficial, but feeling it now. But feeling good though, we're getting there. We had our smoothie bowl this morning. Which... Yeah, I wanted to film Bob eating his smoothie bowl, but he didn't let me. I'm filming you eating that smoothie bowl, even though you didn't want me to, and now it's all gone. You probably don't want to go away with the camera now, the free game, don't want to see what's about to happen. <laughs> they don't want to see, go away. I would nearly finish and then you started filming me when it was finished. But yeah, and it's weird coming back to our space and finding all random things, stains, kids have left and Yeah, because mess. Yeah, a lot of you were asking, oh, where are the teenagers? Why, yeah. you know, why, why didn't they come with us? But they had other obligations and... They didn't want it really as well. They thought, well, you're going away with your friends and that. That yeah. sounds a bit boring. Sam's got his girlfriend, Jamie's got a boyfriend yeah. and... We don't yeah. want to bring them away just to hear them moan about how they miss someone. But Jamie likes holidays where there's lots to do and like... Yeah. Yeah. She likes Disneyland and things like that, so. Yeah. Wasn't her cup of tea, was it? No. Yeah, they only had Earl Grey. Not good. Very good. Don't you dare, don't you dare. So yeah, they stayed here. They got up to all kinds of mischief and basically they crap. didn't clean once the whole time they were no, here. No, no, no. I think dishwasher, which is someone cleaning for you, and some clothes washing, they which is someone it. cleaning for you. Oh, Jamie's here! Oh my god, I heard my name being said. How have you been going? Did you miss us? Yeah. No. No. But yet you come in for a cuddle. She's lying. You can always tell she's lying. And Jojo, you're jumping around, but and you've been reading a new book you've had, haven't you? Yes. What book is it? Uh, 12 Tasks of Asterix. I see the Care Bear is having a good read. Looks deep in thought. I thought an asterix was a squiggly little symbol. Max was also reading it, but he took a break. He took a break? Yeah. Yes. And also, by the way, if you didn't see Max's wings, they are under his shirt. Oh, right. It's very important we reveal this stuff. Everyone's going to think that he's had his wings clipped or something like that. Yeah, that would be very bad for a dragon. So this is going to be a bit of an average day just for us. We're just setting it back. Sometimes we have these reset days, don't we? Yeah. And it's just... Well, some people might like watching me do cleaning. <laughs> Yeah, you've destroyed that kitchen. Comment below if you like watching people clean. Would you like a 24 hour fly on the wall video of Katie just cleaning? You'd be knackered, wouldn't you? 24 hours of cleaning. Exactly. Yeah, I'd have to sleep as well at some point. Yeah, I think um, Jamie wants me to take her into town today, so... What for? <laughs> Shit, right. That face is great. I, yeah, because, like, Jamie, right, is making a Halloween costume in what? May. It's, I know. <laughs> she wants me to take her into town to get her some things for the Halloween costume. <laughs> it's May! That's yes, five months away! People don't even prepare for Christmas that far in advance. Or birthdays. Comment okay. below, do you prepare for Halloween five months in advance? And when I say prepare, I don't mean just thinking about, oh, next Halloween, let's do that. Like buying stuff, preparing, getting well, things ready. I almost didn't want to say it on camera because I knew how weird it would sound, but she literally wants me to take her into town to buy some things for a Halloween costume. If someone saw a video uploaded in May saying Halloween haul or something like that, that would confuse the hell out of them. Are you yeah, going yeah. out now, are you? Because I've got things to do. Um, I've got creativity to do. I recently actually, I put this to Jojo yesterday. There's 
lots of different things I do. Things I do for ethics, uh, my other emails, social media, different things I have to do to keep the machine ticking over. And I said, I, I don't like saying I have to do work because I don't see it as work. I see it as something I enjoy. And Jojo said, call it your creativity. And I was like, yes, that is what I'm calling it. I'm saying, I'm going to do my creativity now. So anyway, I'm going to do my creativity. Oh no, you're going to do, you're going to do some reading with Jojo first. Oh yes, yes. Once the Care Bear's finished, of course. Once, uh... He finishes doing Whoa! It. He's on top no, off the light switch, please, mate. <laughs> we just had an electrician around this morning. Morning coming back. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean up and then I'll grab Jamie and take her out and get her a Halloween stuff. Please don't complete that sentence ever again in May. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What you doing? Playing Fortnite with my mates. You still want to go out today? Yeah. You want breakfast? Yeah. What do you oh, want? Watermelon. 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 <laughs> you gonna cut out for me? Yep. Yeah, I'll do that and I'll oh. be back. Here we are. Yeah. Thank you. What do you reckon is happening in these pictures? I think it's some sort of lion. It looks like a lion and it's like a two-headed snake. A two-headed snake? Serious, mummy. Yeah, it looks like someone defeated a two-headed snake. Oh. She's pulling the tail of a pig. That's weird. Look. Defeating a pig? He's just giving a woman a high five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that, Jojo? Race track. A race track? Wow. Listen, Mummy's going out now with Jo Jamie. Kiss, kiss. Mm. Kiss, kiss. I love you. Oh, did you kiss the free gang? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Bye, Bob. Bye, I love you. Love you. Please don't let her get out of hand with this Halloween thing in May. She's taking her own money, right? I think so. Yeah, we're not paying okay. for a Halloween thing, especially not in May. I'm not paying for a Halloween thing in May. No, no definitely not. I wouldn't pay for it for her in October either. She's 17 now, she can do her own thing. Right, bye. Bye. Right, are you ready? I've been ready for years. I was born ready. Right, let's go. Let's go. Why are we going to town? Because I want to get yoga mats. <laughs> I thought it was something to do with Halloween. It is. What's yoga got to do with Halloween? They're foam. I need foam. Right, you need a ha foam for a Halloween costume. Right, next question. Why are you making a Halloween costume in May? Because it's going to take me ages to do. Oh, it's not going to take you six this is months. This is five things I need to buy just for one prop. What is it? What's I can't the prop? tell you. That's just a secret. I'm making my whole costume from scratch. Why does it take you six months to make a Halloween costume? I'm making an entire costume. I'm not buying clothes for it. I'm actually making the clothes. It's going to take me ages because I don't actually know how to make clothes. But we're going to figure it out because YouTube exists. Oh, so you're going to find someone that's making the thing that you want to make and copy them. The things you do for your kids. But no one gets to know what I'm doing until Halloween. Well, they've got a long wait. So where do you want to go to get yoga mats? The sports shop over there. I'm gonna do all the camping stuff. Oh, camping stuff. Yeah. Jamie, Jamie, look. Tense. I'm gonna check something quickly, ready? What are you checking for? What are you checking for? You need three? Yeah. What on earth are you making? Oh, look, look at that. Stand up paddle boarding. Oh, me and Daniel are going to the Caribbean in September. You're going to the Caribbean with your boyfriend? Yeah. Why? Because we're going to an all-exclusive place where they have stand up paddle boarding. Do you mean an all-inclusive? All-inclusive. Not all-exclusive. All in I said inclusive. You said, <laughs> you said exclusive. When are you going there? September. I was going to say you don't need to really buy anything for that trip because it's so far away, but then you're buying things for October now, so. Look, should we get Jojo some boxing gloves? He likes boxing. It's a good way to channel his energy. I'm going to channel my energy on you in a minute. Mm. Ouch. <laughs> what are we doing in here? Jamie just bought me a present. What are we in here for? Duct tape. What's duct tape again? Hardware tape. Hardware tape. I'm not finding it very easy to imagine what this Halloween costume looks like. Oh, top trumps. <gasps> Monopoly top trumps. Oh, it's not top trumps. Oh, guess who? Twister. How can you get a miniature Twister? I've just had a phone call from Bob. He said, get chips and beans. Jojo wants chips and beans. <laughs> Okay, which one can I have some of then? Did you get only two or three? I got three, there's one of the avocado, but I'm gonna save that for later when you guys are out and I'm looking after Jojo. Why am I blowing it? Did you get soy sauce in that one? Yeah, you get soy sauce <gasps> in all of them. Wasabi, get that wasabi out. Do you like wasabi, Jamie? Mm -mm. Why? It's spicy. Why don't you like spicy things? I just don't like spicy things. I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. You were lucky, you got to have sushi all the I time. I used to get free sushi every day after work. You should have stayed working there. It was too far to travel without my bike. Like an hour there and an hour back every day. It's worth it for free sushi. Especially when there's people spending over a hundred quid just on a hundred quid just on lunch alone. That place was expensive. Did you just say don't tell Bob? 
Yeah. You know Bob's going to edit this video, don't you? Yeah, but that means all the sushi will be gone by the time he edits the video. What are you doing for the rest of the day then? Looking after Jojo. She's actually looking after Jojo for us. Well, you and Sam are looking after Jojo. Me mainly, because Sam's not going to be home from work until like six, maybe seven. So me and Bob are going out for the evening. So I've asked these two to help with Jojo, but not very often that this happens. And it's mainly Sam. Yeah, it's normally mainly Sam. Sam's the responsible one. Isn't it? Well, no, it's not that Sam's the responsible one. Sam has more of a connection than I do. Sam will be the one taking care of him. You'll just be the one playing with him every now and then. And feeding him. What else are you going to do? Uh, I need to ask you something, actually. What do you want to ask for now? Oh, well, no. It, I don't... Uh, okay, I need to ask both you and Bob. Ask me, ask me now. I can't. I've got to do it when we get home. Why? Because I do. Is it bad? Uh, maybe. What is this thing? Can't tell you. So you, it's something that you have to ask me and Bob. Yeah. Which I've been like, to be honest, mainly you, but Bob as well. Because you're like head of the household, so technically what you say goes. I'm the boss, in other She's words. the boss, basically. But <laughs> we'll include Bob. <laughs> Can't you give me a clue what it is? Uh, no. Okay, better hurry up and get home then. Hello. Hello. What you doing? Not bad. How did uh, Halloween in May shopping go? I think, well, you got everything you needed, didn't you, Jamie? I didn't get duct tape, but yeah. <laughs> She got everything she needed, but she didn't Duct get... tape? Yeah. Was she going to be a kidnapped victim or something like that? that uh, I, I don't want to know. Oh, maybe duct tape over the mouth. Costume done. Silent Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. not scary. Hang on, let me sort your hair out. Look. Doing. Oi! For some reason, it's just froze and Benj. I'm just uh, uploading our Creek Talk video. Look at Ben. Oh. He looks like... He, I don't know if he looks like mean or what. Like, you, you want to fight, do you? Oh, I'll say... Uh... <laughs> Guess what else? Jamie bought me a table. What do, what do you mean a table? A little table for the camp out, because we're going camp out. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, we've got a fold up table and everything. No, but we? I needed another one last time. I needed two. A lot of fruit chopping I have to do in the tent. Unbelievable. Are you coming to camp out? Yes. You are. You should. You enjoy it. Remember like Woodstock, a smaller version, but with more English people, I guess. And maybe not as hot. The UK vegan camp out is an awesome weekend. So much good fun. Live music, JME is going to be there performing live. There's a link in the description of all of the events we are at over the year. Come along, come and say hello. We might be on a stall, we might just be in a talk, we might just be hanging out. Come and say hello, we're fun, we're silly. And this event, even though it's labelled vegan camp out, you don't have to be vegan to go there. You don't have to be vegan to go to any of them. Some of you have actually asked. These are open to the public, smaller festivals, there's a little fee, but it'll be so worth it. You enjoy good food, good company, good vibes, and then you get to see us and run away from us. Also, Jamie's got something to ask us. Oh, yeah, I've got something to ask you. You so can spot. Did she talk to you about it already or? No. I feel like I need to sit down for this. I need to sit down amongst all this Lego mess. Build up a pile of Lego bricks into a chair. This isn't a time for Lego, mummy. She's made you sit down and everything. What's going on? Building Lego with nerves. <laughs> That's what it is. It's nothing bad. I don't know, Jamie. We've had a history of like, guess what from you and it turns out me. Remember that? No, that was she didn't even tell us. We found that out by accident. Spill the beans then, Jamie. So basically, you know you guys went to Crete? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> there was a friend in from North London there. North London. Oh, you mean Nathan? Yeah. Oh, he's east. And you know you got that tattoo? Ah. Yes. <laughs> can I get a tattoo? Um. Of course uh, you can. You're too. What do you mean? Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> it said like a real so authoritative you know, voice as well. Yeah, that's answered then. What, what, wait, wait, wait. I think you're too young for one, aren't you? Well, I don't know, because some places it's like, with your parents' permission, you can get it at 16. Ah, that's why you're asking us. Otherwise, she'd probably just go and do yeah, it. Yeah, just oh, turn yeah. up with a flipping motorbike on her back or something. Right, so you need our permission to get a tattoo. What do you want to get? Let's, let's look at that. Thing on the window. Oh, the fl you want the flower of life. The flower of life. Oh. About it. Okay, you've got my attention. You know, my initial reaction is firstly to say no because what tattoos do they take a long time to heal or they take a while like one I got on my back when we were away is like Feeling. yeah it's what well, they like turn into a bit of scabs if you pick them no, or no. scratch them it just basically takes the ink out and it just looks you end up with this awful looking thing so it's a big responsibility and you've got to remember that's on your body for the rest of your life don't go ahead and get your boyfriend's name or something like that or, that's a very funny thing to ask or like a Disney thing because you may not always like Disney, you love Disney now, but I think, yeah, the flower of life might be a good one. Yeah, and that's a powerful symbol to have. Nice. Also, tattoos on your arms, sometimes people judge you for that. You know, I don't personally, I don't judge anybody for anything they do, but, you know, be aware of, of stuff like that. Is there somewhere on your body you think you would like it? Yeah. 
On the side? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was thinking maybe someone on the back, lower back maybe, I don't know. Another thing is that they're quite painful. I know they're painful. Yeah, it's good that you brought this up though because regardless of asking our permission or not, it, it, at least we can make you aware of things you may have not considered so it isn't just some crazy impulsive decision. Like you get a tattoo of Fortnite because you like Fortnite at the moment. Yeah. Or I, a tattoo of your lunch that you had that day because you enjoyed it. I sort of knew that you wanted to tattoo, tattoo already because I think we talked about it ages ago but I didn't mm -hmm. think that you were like really serious about it. Yeah. Well, we're going to see Nathan tonight, aren't we? So we yeah, could actually have a word. Yeah, we're going tonight and we're going to see Nathan. Okay. Well, I'm not saying yes, but I'll think about it. Really. Yeah, and we can talk to Nathan to see if he can do it as well. And we'll see how it stands with regards to if you're allowed to have one. Because it yeah. might be that you're allowed, but you need parents' permission. I'm not sure. I tell you, whatever you build out of those pieces of Lego you've got there, that's your tattoo. A mess. <laughs> I know, we'll only agree to it if she agrees to having a tattoo saying, I love my parents. That's never gonna change. My mum is the best. Yay. I'll get a tattoo of your name. Watch your dead. What? Well, how well can we trust that? You might be like 60 and I might be 80 or something. Anyway, yeah, we'll give it a think. We'll talk to Nathan tonight and speaking of which, we've actually got to get our move on, mummy. We've got to go. I'll tell you what I will do as well. I'll buy you some of those fake tattoos, like transfers, and then you can put one on and then see how it feels, see if you like having something like that. Also, you know it really, really hurts as well. It feels like loads of needles going in your skin and like scraping at the same time. I know. Okay, good talk. I'm actually relieved that this wasn't something which I could have perceived to be worse. You never know of her. Okay, she's going. We need to go. go. Let's get a move on. No building Lego, mummy. Yeah, we're going to go soon. Okay, cool. So, this is what you've been doing all afternoon. Yeah. Making a big fat mess. What have you made? Oh, right. It's a big hammer. So what? Why do you... What? Uh, what does that have to do with Halloween? It just does. What costume is it? I can't tell you. It looks like a good hammer. Daniel's idea of using actually foam. That was a good idea of Daniel's because it's a lot lighter. But I want to know what it goes with. What the hell is that? It's a massive hammer. She won't tell us what it's going to go with though. You give this girl some sellotape and a few materials and God knows what gets created. She made you her video camera out of paper once. But yeah, paper and sellotape, a camcorder, had a tripod and everything. She was nine years old. Oh. Look how far she's come. Now she's making giant mallets. Just be careful where you leave those knives, all right? You can take them now, I'm done. All right, I'll take them. You're going to be one of those people at the festival, aren't you? It's like, come up, step right up here. Bing, whoop, bing. <laughs> Bong. Oh, that actually does hurt. Oh, does you it? Really you had no problem that. doing it to me, did yeah, you? Yeah, but I did it really lightly. I did it like that. You did it like that. I didn't do it that hard. We're on the way out. Finally. Vegan nights. One of my favourite nights every single month. You weren't at the last one, were you? No, but we are at most of them. Yeah. Well, you're you're at all of them. Vegan nights will take you with us for a little bit, but these are really good nights with food stalls, clothing stalls, live music, there's a bar. Really recommend you come along. It's on Brick Lane. I can put a link in the description as well. You have to get tickets for it. Yeah, the reason why it's ticketed is because lots and lots of people would like to come to this because they know how good it is. So they like to stagger the entry so you get a time slot to turn Basically, up. Basically, so many people want to go to vegan nights that it just gets so cramped in there you can't move and it's like they have DJs there and everything so you need to be able to move around. Yeah, it gets bigger and bigger every time. They went from one medium sized room to like two warehouse sized rooms now it's become that popular. It's on Brick Lane which is a really busy area of London as well so people always end up just stopping in. They see a big queue outside going around the corner and they're like what's that about? Typical English people yeah. they just see a queue and just join it. Must be good. When I went to France once that's what they say about English people that if we see a queue we just join it we don't even know because like we just love queuing yeah, it's a nice sunny day spring has finally got here i don't want to speak too soon don't speak too soon apparently it was snowing last time you said that it went cold again i'm sorry about that i'm I know. sorry guys are you shocked about jamie i'll be honest i was kind of relieved when you come back and it's like she's got something to tell us she won't tell me what i'm like Wait, no. but no you never know what it is i had an idea because really? she has mentioned things before all right because i didn't me. know about that she hadn't said anything to me yeah she has mentioned but i did forget when she said about she has to ask us something it's hard because like fear gets the better of me and i'm like oh my god she wants to have a baby <laughs> not that that's a bad thing but i just kind of think no, yeah, you she's... You are a baby. Yeah, still. she's too young. She's so young. Yeah, but yeah, that's not the worst thing that could have entered my mind as far as the scenario is concerned. I can't believe we've left Jojo as well with Jamie and 
Yeah. yeah. Sam. Well, do you know what? It's about time that we have some time to ourselves. Yeah, like people always say, oh, wow, it's so amazing that you have a big age gap with your kids. Must mean you have a babysitter all the time. And it's like, yeah. no. We struggle to find babysitters as much as anybody else. Yeah. I mean, Jojo likes to be with us most of the time anyway, yeah. so we don't, it's not very often that we go off on our own, is it? No, very rarely. But it's good on this occasion that we've got Jojo there for us to look after Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. Jamie is 17, but she's not like a typical 17 year old. She's quite immature in some ways. Yeah, it's not like in any bad ways. Like she likes kiddie stuff still. She loves Disney. Not that I mean all ages can like Disney, but yeah, man. she'll sit there and just watch like Disney films one after the other. She plays video games and she loves their bears. Mm. She plays Lego. Yes, all that stuff. So really, I mean, she's the perfect person to look after Jojo because yeah. they'll probably have fun, but Sam's there as well. And Sam's girlfriend is going to be there later as well and she is training to be a teacher yeah she's been dealing with uh, kids similar age to him haven't, yeah hasn't yeah she? so we're going to go across tower bridge today we love tower bridge it's like our most favorite bridge don't jinx it every time we drive over tower bridge you're jinxing it i'm not jinxing it <laughs> but every time we try and drive over it something happens like my phone malfunctions because all i want to do is do one of those instagram stories or vlog or anything it's, it's been a multiple different cameras different yeah, things i just want to just go across and show everyone instagram that we were on tower bridge it's just like you're in the moment you're and like it, oh look it's tower bridge and then something happens it's weird one time the phone went off started ringing yeah another time yeah we, the battery cut out oh on the that. battery cut out another time it just wouldn't even react you were like uh, uh, uh. Like, we're running out of bridge <laughs> yeah so let's see if it happens today i just don't want to stop Never too much, never too much. Never too much, mate. I just don't stop. Never too much. Never too much. Apparently it was too much for him. We're not letting this happen again. You nearly let me down again. Tower Bridge. I, I did not let you down with Tower Bridge. Go through. No, don't go in the don't go in the I won't get stuck in the don't yellow box. Don't go in the yellow box. Tower Bridge needs up. Oh, I'm stuck in now anyway. Oh. I'm just gonna have to roll back. Do, 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 do. You're going to get busted. Well, at least I get to see Tower Bridge and get busted. The seeing of Tower Bridge isn't the problem. It's the video in Tower Bridge. Oh, look, can we go on that tour bus? They can see Tower Bridge, but they haven't got cameras. Get ready, people. You're about to go. Don't zoom in on them. You're about to go over Tower Bridge. There's people in suits on there. Yeah, that's just his bus home. That's cool. A tour no, that. the battery's cut. The battery's running out. Quick. Right, are we going? Go, go. And the way, circle is Tower Bridge is out. It's a convertible smart car. What the hell's going on? It's right. running out. The battery's serious. I've got another out. one here. You might have to be super. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. You're scared. Don't focus on me. Focus on the bridge. Okay. Look at this. There's a van turning around. Don't you know what's that stake here, man? Look, they're rubbing it in our faces over there. They got uh, cameras. Oh, uh, they got cameras. They know what. They know what. It's okay for you. You haven't got a car. Can you stop shouting out the window? People are looking at us. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing we're actually it. Doing we're actually it. doing it. Oh, is this what we were missing out on? I'm not going to be content until I get to at least the second tower bit. Okay, so that's the first tower just there. Yep, here we go. Yay! Oh, look at London. Ooh. Hey everybody, you're on YouTube! Look at that. Hang on, what's going on here? Don't mess anything up, I'm Katie. not, I'm trying to be normal. We're going through the, the tower. Tower one, done. They're Brilliant. all taking their pictures, look at them all. Good, yep, your camera's all. We've just gone over the lumpy bit where it would open up. And tower two. Yeah, tower two, we own you. Babe, we did it! Oh, we did this it! Is... Oh my god! How? Dunno. This is a pinnacle of our lives. No, this is this is a turning point. You feel the shift? Feel that change? Right, on to Vegan Nights. Vegan Nights! We've arrived. Just coming up to Brick Lane now. Vegan Nights. I'm excited, man, mummy. And I'm hungry as well. What do you want to eat? I don't know if I know if I need to eat, really. Okay, well, you can go somewhere else then. I'm gonna get to eat. Well let's see. I might get there and then that food, like like they do kebabs and burgers and things, and yeah. it just might hit my nose and then I'm like you know when you're in supermarkets and you smell the bread, like they always have like a yeah, yeah. A, a freshly bake, baked a, a freshly baked department. Like I literally, my nose goes like that. 
and then I start Ooh. like, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. You've seen me do it. Her head tilts back and then she just like zooms to the area. I just literally follow my nose. Mm. Yeah, and sometimes it gets so busy here where you literally have such big queues and you have to make a, like a strategic decision and go, oh, I'll just go for the smallest queue. But I'm hoping now we're getting there and it relatively early, it won't be like that. Cross. They do sushi there. This is oh. pr pretty oh. clean. Okay, I yeah. have um, a confession to make. Me and Jamie actually had sushi earlier. You what? <laughs> in the car. Oh, where'd you do that from? Wagon um, Mama? No, we, they do it in Sainsbury's. Oh, right. Yeah, really? we, we, yeah we were very cheeky. Yeah. We had a cheeky sushi in the car. I mean, you can unhand me now. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> I don't know why I love a backpack. I've always loved the rucksack, but it's ethical. I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think that was done. So Bob just bought a rucksack, rucksack from Ethics. I can't say that you can't word. Can't say rucksack, can you? We just got these in. They're not online yet. They're exclusive here tonight. But I had to get my hands on one, buy one straight away. Do you know what? It's not like over complicated. It's like a few pockets, one for laptop. Let's go and get some food anyway. Food, food, food. What's the other one? Is this your first vegan steak, mummy? Yes. Your mind is about to be blown, I'm telling you. Yeah, get it on there. This is spicy. Oh, no. What are you doing? Don't mess about, we need the shot. Come on. Stop being all delicate now, just picking it. Grab it. I love how these uh, sensual songs come on now. <laughs> <laughs> That was a bit too aggressive, right? You need to chill. What are we saying? Your first Jake's vegan steak. This one's a bit different. It's shredded steak. Normally it's like a steak patty. It's one of their ones. But this is like steak pieces. Look at that. So you've got the cheese on there as well. Gherkins. Did you uh, dodge the jalapenos on purpose? Just start sweating. Otherwise. You'll sweat out, won't you? No, the tables have turned. You'll have to do it aggressive as well. This place is dangerous for like food, man. So much good food. So there's even more places each time. They didn't have two places over there. The first thing you've eaten at vegan nights, isn't it? Yeah. My goodness. Broken in, you're initiating. You're part of the gang now. So we're all done for the night. Did you have fun, mummy? Yeah, it was lovely. It could be an out just the two of us, isn't it? And everyone was there, the whole gang and more. So I feel nice. Like my, my throat's really sore now where I was yeah. like trying to shout to talk to people. I know, that's the thing with customers. You know, do you want to pay cash or card? Yeah, my throat's feeling it now. I need some water. Let's get in the car and get you home. So I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely finished. Are you finished? <laughs> yep. <laughs> ready to go home now. My legs hurt as well. We did some dancing. There was some cutting off some rug. Is that a saying, is it? Yeah, it's cutting the rug up from your dance moves. You mean cutting the rug? Cutting the it's, it's my sore throat. I'm struggling to speak here, okay? <laughs> Before we finish this video, guys, I want to give some shout outs to some of you lovely free gang who have been very patient and waited for them as we weren't able to do them the last couple of videos. So shout outs to the following people. Lachi or Lashi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. TJ Richardson, It's Lou Lanzi, Mycroft Holmes. Uh, happy birthday to Isabel. That's on behalf of your friend, Lisa Rock. Happy birthday. Amber Clark, Connie Freeman, Brooke Manderfield, 
Field, Savannah Hannah-Ray, Emma Rogers, Caitlin Louise Robertson, Lindsay Bush, Madison O'Neill, Kitty Lee, Elisa Anglis, and a happy birthday shout out to Liliana Kuroga, whose birthday is on the 10th of May, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. And last special shout out is to our good friend, Frankie. Ah, oh, Frankie. <laughs> Frank, Hello, Frank. Frankie's my sister. Frank the Tank, who, and she is pregnant, and she is going to be having a boy. So we're just sending you lots of love, wishing you all the best. Look after that baby, look after yourself. And if any of you guys ever want to shout out, or as it was appear, birthday wishes, then comment below. We'll happily do them in the next video or videos coming up. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you're liking seeing the random things we get up to, all the adventures, us going out at night, that doesn't happen often, and then we'd love it if you subscribed. But if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload videos, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Mm.